Hey guys, my name is G Try. I'm back here at it again with another video, another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. So guys, today's video I will be reviewing a glitch instead of doing one because you know, there are a lot of fake glitches out there, especially car to car merge glitches because there isn't one at the moment with just one console and without net cut and without that, so there's no glitch without like all the requirements because you will need netcut you will need two consoles you will need bef so yep so today i will be reviewing a glitch like that so uh make sure to like share, subscribe and uh, this glitch is gonna be good let's see if this works or not with that being said make sure to enter the giveaway the steps are given on screen like share subscribe uh turn on notifications and uh, do all the steps that are given on the screen basically and also here is a word from our sponsor and then we'll quickly begin with this, this video so yeah are you tired of going to amazon and purchasing overpriced shark cards yes i know i know the pain too because i've been there i purchased these shark cards look at this for example 19 dollars for 1.25 million that's absurd but guess what at aurorarysupply.com what you get is a 20 times the value of one shark card, 25 million for just 18 bucks. That being said, they also have for you account boost, what accounts, bets for removal. You, if you don't trust me, go ahead and check out the reviews on the website. 4.8 rating just proves it. Now guys, if you want to go ahead and check them out, the link is in the description. Go ahead and check them out because they're the best website for this. What he says about this glitch, so I'll just reveal the thumbnail real quick for this one. So this is basically the thumbnail of this video. Right there. If you can find out the thumbnail, is pretty cool, but uh, that's pretty much the thumbnail. So yeah, let's begin with this one. So let's begin with his glitch. So yeah. Just go ahead and comment down below some fans that are going to be possibly for you into my next video. But besides all that, let's just go ahead and get straight to this glitch. Now for the first part of the glitch, you need to have the vehicle that you want the mods from and then the vehicle that you want the mods onto inside of your auto shop guys and then from here just go ahead and jump into the so you need uh, the car that you want the mods from and the car that you want to mod in the same garage so in inside the auto shop garage so uh, there you go this is a car that i'll be using to put on the mods onto the new car which is the xeno which i already have in my garage so let's see if this works or not Okay, I'm focusing on the video, so there's like a lot of things to focus on, which is the webcam first off, then my uh, PlayStation 5 here, and then my uh, PC over here, so I need to focus on everything, so the recording and everything. So yeah, I might be kind of messed up, but hopefully I can uh, cover all the steps. So basically, so first, first you need to take this car and uh, press round D-pad. What does he say after that? We'll bring you into the shop, and once you do come into the shop, all you yep. simply want to do is go to plate and change the plate on the vehicle. Let's change the plate on the vehicle, so and just do that, and then uh, let's do that. Okay, cool. What do we need to do after that? Once you have changed the plate, just go ahead and back out of the auto shop. Back out of the auto okay. shop, okay. Once you do fully load back into your garage, all you simply want to do is jump out of this vehicle and make your way jump out of the vehicle, vehicle that has all the mods on it. Now, you do that, all you simply want to do is put right on the D-pad. Run D-pad on the car that I want to watch from. It be the cheapest thing. It is the cheapest thing. Depending on the money that I have. Let's see what I can change. Let's ch just change the armor, for example. Okay. On the car, just go ahead and back out. That's easy, run. Let's see. Then back out, okay. And once you go back to the garage, just go ahead and jump into the vehicle that you do want to change to the mod on to. Okay, cool. And go cool. ahead and drive outside. Now once you do drive Put outside. inside this. And drive outside. Okay, cool. We drive outside. What's the next step, guys? I need to go in. Just go ahead and click pause. Go to our pause. Play jobs. Play job. Mm -hmm. Rocks are created. Head over to missions. And start missions. Of job. Okay, sign of a job. So it's similar to the car to car merge glitch, right? So let's see what the next step is. The job, just go ahead and play the job on your own. Okay, he didn't mention this, but he changed the matchmaking to closed. closed so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just watching this just caught it. So let's do this. 
Yeah, Eric's gonna be here. I just took a bath, so... And what you do hold it to the job, all you simply want to do is just go ahead and pull out a rocket launcher. And rock launcher? Up. Blow the vehicle up. That, pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Quit the job from your phone. Pretty easy, right? I mean, he said in this two-minute intro that you needed a lot more steps, but... Uh, I mean, there's no, pretty much, no step at all, because you just blew the car up. I mean, there's no glitchy part in this glitch, allegedly. So, let's see if this is real or not, because right now I feel like this is going turning out to be a fake one. But, who knows if this becomes real. What do we need to do next? Like, he's not even uh, speeding up this process, so uh, I'll need to... Skip forward a bit. Okay. Don't you make your way back to GTA Online. Just go ahead and make your way inside of your auto shop. Auto shop, okay. I I thought he might say that. Uh, we may make our way back to our auto shop. Now, guys, mind you that. Uh, he might be doing this glitch on the PlayStation 4, uh, but I'm doing it on the PlayStation 5, so yeah, there might be a bit of difference in the timing and everything else, so yeah. What do we need to do after that? Oh, we are inside this place. Man, this guy doesn't speed up these processes. Now, once you make your way inside of your auto shop, just go ahead and jump into the vehicle that you do want to transfer the mod from and okay, go ahead and just cool. drive outside. And drive outside. Boom. Next step, please. Now, once you do make your way outside with the vehicle, just go ahead and pull up your phone, go to contact, and call Morse Mutual Insurance, and you want to call back in the car that you did blow up earlier in the job. Okay, cool. Now, once you do that, just simply wait from here. Now, once you do the call back. it in, and it does go back into your garage, just go ahead and jump out of the vehicle, return the vehicle, vehicle. Out, and from here, make your way inside return the Return the vehicle. And uh, go back into your auto shop. Pretty simple, right? Like, the, now, no you complicated steps. Make your way over to the vehicles, and you can see that you have made a complete merge with the vehicle. Oh damn! Now. now look at that. He actually merged his vehicles. Look at that. Two vehicles right there merged. Wow. Let's see if ours merged. Apparently it didn't. Oh wow. We must have done something wrong. Enjoy the video. If you guys did, please be sure to drop a like, drop a sub, and let me know how I did. Both of you guys. I do want to let you guys know that this glitch did take an actually a couple of tries, so it might take you a couple. But besides all that, we should put close to A couple of tries, I don't think that that is the real reason why this didn't work hard. The real reason that this didn't work hard because this glitch is fake, this didn't get posted on uh, GTA Glitches Reddit or anywhere else. So, there you go guys, that's the fucking conclusion. Sorry, I swear right there, but yeah, I do get a bit um, bad-mouthed when uh, there is a fake glitch out there. But, with that being said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Kind of disappointed that this is not a true card of karma. This isn't even a glitch. This is a fake thing right there. This is Fugazi, Fugazi, or whatever out there. So, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And uh, we just exposed him. I'm just going to reveal his name because he might just copyright strike me. Who knows what kind of madmen are out there. With that being said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. My name is Sheet. Uh, signing off. Peace and love, baby.